Yeah. I'm right outside, outside Washington, D.C., yes. Texas, Houston. I'm, I'm from the U.K. as well. My state state from the U.K., Suffolk. Canada here. The Netherlands. Netherlands as well. Yeah, the Netherlands. 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 Living in London, U.K., I'm originally uh, from Finland. Dallas, Texas here. New Orleans, Louisiana. South Georgia. Heaven, yeah. New York City. Lund, Sweden. Alicante, Spain. Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm originally from London, but I'm from the. I'm now living the area we're flying over right now, Bay Area, California. It's awesome. Hello and welcome to The Sim Hanger. My name's Mark. The Sim Hanger channel recently held their second multiplayer fly-in event. And this multiplayer session was attended by over 50 people. And we were able to get together and share our enthusiasm and passion for flight simulation and in particular Microsoft Flight Simulator. And we're able to enhance this by using voice so we're able to speak to each other. And we did this not through Microsoft Flight Simulator, but through using a third-party application, Discord. Hi everybody, it's Mark here, SimHanger. Welcome to the second event. It looks like it's a pretty packed airport. Maybe I should have picked a bigger one. You like Heathrow? We're 40 people deep now. Wow, that's amazing. I doubt that I'm new to flight simulators. My touch and go is more likely to be a crash and recover. <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from is a good one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so thirsty right now, and I've got my VR headset on, but I also have a headset with a microphone on. I just cannot find a place for the water. <laughs> I keep meaning to invest in a straw, but I always forget. <laughs> We got a, you know, two thousand dollar graphics card. We can't have for draw. <laughs> I know. The focus of this video is how do you use voice on Discord so that you can join multiplayer events. And although we're using SimHanger and Microsoft Flight Simulator as the example in this case, the same principles apply no matter what sim you're using or what game. Discord is a very common and widely used voice application. Let's get started. Don't be concerned by the word server. Discord is very much like a website, except it's interactive. You need an invite to join Discord. And for those with Discord servers, they'll normally leave a link for you to click on, which will be your invite. The SimHanger link is in the notes below. I'm not going to delve too much into the details of Discord, as I've already covered this in a previous video. If you're a member of more than one server, on the extreme left-hand side will be the icons for the different servers. Then right next to that are the directories for that particular server. They're currently on the SimHanger server. Discord directories are normally organized into categories, with a main category heading, and then relative subdirectories below that. There is also normally a mix between voice and text channels. You can expand or collapse categories by clicking on the main category heading. If you can't find what you're looking for, click on the category heading, it may be hidden. In this case, in addition to all the various text channels, there are a number of voice channels. And here we can see voice chat 1, 2 and 3. These are general voice channels where people can agree to meet and talk to each other. Therefore, members use. In this example, voice chat 1 and 2 are limited to 10 people and voice chat 3 to 3 people. The SimHanger server is really a community for people to get together, but also we're focused on events. And there's a subcategory events. It includes event details of what fly-in is coming up next. There's also a place where members can suggest where they'd like the next event to be, as well as a text chat that can be used during events. And below that is an event voice channel. And this is a dedicated channel just for SimHanger fly-in events. So if you're joining one of my multiplayer events, well, that's the voice channel to join. To join a voice channel, simply click on the channel itself. And your icon and tag will be shown below that. You're now in that channel. You'll be able to talk to anybody else who joins that channel. 
To disconnect, click on this icon and it will take you out to the voice channel. When you successfully join a channel, you'll see the green voice connected message in the bottom left hand corner. Let's now have a look at how you set up voice in Discord. And you do this by clicking on this cog or settings icon. This will take you to new menu options. And the only one we're interested in here is voice and video. Click on that. And this is where we can set up or reconfigure our sound options. At the top we have input and output device. Input is sound from the SIM and others. I have a number of devices connected, so I'm going to choose my headphones. And output is my mic, and I'm going to choose the same headphones, as it has a microphone attached. And this will enable me to speak to others. Click on Let's Check to Hello. test whether they're working this or not. just a test. I want to get my voice just into the green. On this test, you should be able to hear yourself talking. The default setting is voice activity, and when you speak you'll see that the line will go Hello. green. For volume control there are slider settings for both input and output. It's often recommended that you change your default voice activity to push to talk. For the benefit of others, this means you need to press a button in order for your voice to be heard and that others can't hear any background noise while you're not transmitting, and it prevents you inadvertently speaking over others. To assign a key or button, all you need to do is click on the shortcut and it starts recording. And it's waiting for an input. Press a key or button and it will record that. And whenever that key is held down and you're talking, others will be able to hear you. I use a button on my yoke. Once you're in game or in sim, it's a quick and easy exercise to just test it and make sure others can hear you. Click on escape and you're done. So, Sim hanger, this might be your chance for the screenshot. Look at that. It's more like it. This is the first time I've ever been able to pass a, a jumbo jet in a piper. <laughs> Looking right through the Golden Gate Bridge, um, the opening there is the Golden Gate yes, to yes. the Pacific. Left the great view of the Pacific directly. You can see downtown San Francisco, the Bay Bridge, the Golden Gate, mm -hmm. the Alcatraz, mm -hmm. Treasure Island, basically everything. So if you want to learn a little bit more about multiplayer or unsure of what settings, you can check out these videos. I'll leave links to them in the notes below. Well, I hope you found this useful and informative. Look after yourselves, take care, I'll see you again soon, and bye for now.